Uh, hey, brother. I don't think I've ever seen so much sand before in my entire life. Oh, I know, right? I feel like I'm sinking with every step. Uh, brother, this isn't, uh, quicksand, is it? Of course not. That would be ridiculous. Quicksand isn't real. Quicksand is real, Blowy! Uh, let's get out of here. Ah, uh, now I feel like I'm gonna be blown away. Uh, it's okay, Stewie. According to the map, we are almost there. Uh, almost where? Uh, to the treasure, remember? Awesome! Uh, uh, w w wait a minute, what's that? Uh, brother, any chance the treasure is in the middle of a giant sand storm? Of course not, Stewie. Don't be ridiculous. It's right over... Ah! Uh, 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 which which house do we which house should we hide in? Uh, uh, that that one over there. That one looks closer. Let's let's do that one. Yeah. Wait, Stewie. Wait, wait. That one looks like it's it's sinking in the sand. Uh, we should pick the house that's sitting on the rock so it won't fall down in the storm. Uh, uh, okay, but let's hurry. Ah! <sighs> okay. Okay, I think we're safe. Uh, me too, me too, yeah. Yeah, hey, good thing you picked this house. I, I think that other one's gonna get blown over. Oh, it's because I remembered what the Bible said. The Bible said to pick the house that's farther away in a sandstorm? What? No, the Bible said that you should build your house on a strong foundation, like a rock. That way it'll uh, stand strong even through the storms. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Uh, exactly. And in our lives, we need to make Jesus our foundation. Yeah, like, he's just as strong as the rock, right? Even stronger. And we're the house. When we make sure that our, all our life is focused on Jesus, we'll stand strong through all the storms. Oh, yeah. That, that rocks! Yeah, yeah. Uh, get it? Get it? Yeah. Get what? You know, it rocks. You know, J Jesus is our rock? Huh? Oh, 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 Stewie, look, 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 the sandstorm is, uh, stopping. Let's go. Oh, come on. Don't you get it? This rocks. No, I don't get it. Hey, kids, I'm Kyle. And today we're going to be talking about storms. And no, not just real storms with clouds and thunder and rain, but the storms in our lives. Storms are when we are going through something that's difficult. Maybe you're moving houses or having a hard time in a class. Those are storms. Sometimes we have sunny days, sometimes we have rainy days. And that's the same for our lives. It might not seem like it, but we need storms. Outside, when it storms, the plants get water and it helps them to grow. The storms in our lives help us to grow as well. But we have to stand strong through those storms. How do we stand strong through storms? When it's really windy and loud, how do we stay upright? With Jesus! When we make Jesus the leader of our lives, He is there to help us when things get hard. He holds our hand to keep us strong, and then after the storm passes, we have another sunny day and we are more prepared for the next storm in our life. That is why we say that Jesus is our rock. He is super sturdy and won't fall down when the rain comes. And when we hold on to him, we won't fall down either. So today we're learning, Jesus is my rock in the storms. Now let's all say that together. You guys ready? Jesus is my rock in the storms. Let's look at another story today. In this story, we're imagining that we are building a house. And no matter how sturdy our house is, it can still fall down without Jesus. So let's read in Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 through 28. And that's in the New Testament of the Bible. Let's go ahead and read. Anyone who listens to my teachings and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Can you imagine building a house on solid rock? I think it would be really strong and not move at all. Let's see what happens to this house in a storm. 
Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against the house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. Jesus is my rock in the storms. All right, let's all say that together. You guys ready? Jesus is my rock in the storms. Jesus is the solid rock. A foundation is what the house is built on top of. And, and if we're building a house, we need to make sure that the foundation of our house is Jesus. When Jesus is our rock in life, we will stand through the storms. We have to make him the foundation in our lives by making him the leader of our lives and build a strong friendship with him. What about for those who don't build their lives on Jesus? It says this, but anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. You see, no matter how strong your house is, if Jesus isn't your foundation, then it won't stand strong. Even if you have a super tough house made of bricks and concrete, it will sink into the sand and fall apart without Jesus. Jesus is my rock in the storms. Let's all say that together. You ready? Jesus is my rock in the storms. And how do we make Jesus the rock in our lives? Well, in order to do that, everything else needs to build on top of him. He needs to be your foundation for everything. Each morning, you can read your Bible and start your day with Jesus. That makes him your foundation for the day. You can also do something as small as praying before you eat. Remembering to thank God for your food is a great way to keep Jesus as your foundation all throughout the day. You have to make it a habit to always put Jesus in the center of your life. The more your life revolves around Jesus, the better your foundation will be. You will stand strong through all of the storms when Jesus is your rock. Life will always have storms. There can't always be these sunny days. But it's nice to know that even when the storm comes, you have someone there to hold you upright. Jesus is my rock in the storms. Let's all say that together. You guys ready? Jesus is my rock in the storms. And if you have not given your heart to Jesus, this is a good time to make him the leader of your life and accept him into your heart. And if you do, you're building your life on a strong foundation of Jesus. Just pray with me right now and follow along. Dear Jesus, we come to you today. We love you so much. We need you to build a foundation on us. Lord, I want that foundation to be strong, held upright by you. In order to do that, I need you to be the leader of my life. So I'm praying right now, asking you to come into my heart and change me. I want you to be the leader of my life. You died for my sins, the bad things in my life, and you rose again. And I want to follow you each and every day of my life. Amen. And if you made the decision to make Jesus the leader of your life, tell a leader or tell somebody around you. And don't forget, Jesus is your rock. You can stand strong in the storms when you make Jesus your foundation. Hey, I'm Christy. I think we all need a rock in our life because life is hard. We need something strong to hold us steady because as strong as we may be, storms are gonna knock us down if we don't have a rock to stand firm on. When we make Jesus the leader of our lives, he is our rock. He will always hold us up and he is the best solution for standing firm. This week, I want you to remember that Jesus not only will hold you strong in life storms, but he wants to hold you strong. He loves you so much and he knows that we can't do this on our own. He wants us to ask for his help and invite him into our lives as our rock so that he can help us stand strong. Let's all practice our memory verse. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. Romans 12, 21. Let's all say, Jesus is my rock in the storms. Ready? Jesus is my rock in the storms.